From the key field at Hayden Park, we will wrap up the Max Series this weekend. Western Michigan taking on Miami for games two and three of this doubleheader on Sunday afternoon. Luke West Pulley with you here on Love and Honor Live. Broncos looking to build off a 6-0 victory from yesterday's. They improved a 3-4 and four in conference play. Miami looking for a bounce back as we will play two on this Sunday afternoon. Western Michigan hitting first as the road team here in game number one. Jackson Kitchen will lead off for the Broncos. And on the mound for Miami, Zach Maxey. 8-3-4 ERA this season in 22 and two-thirds innings pitched. 14 walks, 31 strikeouts for Maxey. The junior out of Avon, Ohio, facing off against a Western Michigan lineup led by Jackson Kitchen. Will Morrison hits second for the Broncos. Kevin Doyle hitting third. He plays third base. Kate Sullivan in the cleanup spot at first. Dylan Nevar hitting fifth in right field. Josh Swinehart, the DH, hitting sixth. Jimmy Allen is seventh in the lineup, and he is the shortstop this afternoon. Greg Buddig, the catcher, hitting eighth and rounding out the order. Grady Mee, the second baseman for the Broncos. Maxie right-hander on the mound. Lineup looks pretty similar for a Western Michigan team that picked up a 6-0 victory over the Red Hawks. A bounce-back win for the Broncos, who lost their midweek game against Michigan State, and prior to that, had not won since game one of the series against Eastern Michigan. Seven losses in a row prior to yesterday for the Broncos. First pitch is in there for strike one from Zach Maxey. 12.02 p.m. start time for game number one of the doubleheader. And a wave and a miss for strike two from Jackson Kitchen. 250 hitter atop the lineup for the Broncos making his 21st start. And cuts and misses for a three pitch strikeout. Zach Maxey nearly a strikeout and a half per inning. Gets his first K of the day in efficient fashion on three pitches. Will Morrison standing in, top hitter on the team by average at 372, nearly 100 points better than anyone else on this roster. Morrison was one for three yesterday, scored two runs. Had a double and one RBI. <laughs> one one breaking towards the zone. It's fisted off right side foul. 40 degrees. And partly cloudy for this first game here in Oxford. Weather should finally start to warm up over these next couple of weeks. As the Red Hawks will be back at home on Tuesday. So they'll kick off the Nuxall Classic against Xavier. And it'll be a long road trip for Miami as they will be away for their next two weekends with a midweek wedged in the middle against Northern Kentucky. Morrison fighting here at the plate. He's got the count at 2-2. And Maxi finds the plate there for strike three. And Morrison goes down on the K. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to kick off the game for the Red Hawk right-hander. Gavin Doyle up at the plate for the Broncos. Playing at third base. Fans on the first offering. Doyle, the senior out of Plainfield, Illinois. Hitting 267. Has started every game for the Broncos this year. Quickly, he's down 0-2. Maxi has peppered the zone here in this first. Doyle lays off in the 0-2 offering. Doyle was one for four yesterday with a run scored. 
One, two, he gets a piece. Middle infield backed up onto the outfield grass, now taking a couple steps in for the Red Hawks. As the 0-2 flared into right field, this is going to be a tough play for Brokemon racing after it. He's going to have to let that one drop for a base hit. Lost the hat. Brokemon was shadowing a little more towards right center. And Gavin Doyle avoids the 1-2-3 inning for the Broncos with a two-strike, two-out single to extend the top of the first. Kate Sullivan up at the plate for the Broncos. Hitting in the cleanup spot. And he waves at the first pitch and knocks it into left field for a base hit. This one trickling all the way to the warning track where it's scooped up by Dom Magliaca. Runner held up at third as Doyle gets in there standing. And a two-out double from Cade Sullivan. A dominant inning from Zach Maxey has turned sour. Second and third now with two outs. Dylan Nevar coming to the plate. Redshirt sophomore out of Wisconsin with two in scoring position. Swings and misses at the first off speed offering for strike one. Zaborowski playing level with the bag at third. Cooper Weiss behind second. It's the 0-1 grounded right side scooped up by Dylan Baker and he makes the play on the first for the out. So... An escape act of the inning from Zach Maxey, who struck out the first two he saw after back-to-back -back hits given up. He gets out of the top of the first unscathed. No score. We head to the bottom of the first. You're watching Love and Honor Live. Bottom of the first, 0-0, zero, zero, two hits with two outs for Western Michigan, including a double off the bat of Cade Sullivan. But the Broncos do not scratch across a run, and Zach Maxey gets out of the inning. Miami coming to the plate for the first time. Benji Brokemon will lead off for the Red Hawks. Right fielder hitting 283 on the year, making his 25th start. Sees a first pitch on the inside corner for strike one from Dane Armbrustmaker. Senior Southpaw out of Fowler, Michigan. 675 ERA on the year. 0-1, a backdoor curveball in there for strike two. 30 and two thirds innings pitch, 16 walks, 33 strikeouts for Armbrustmaker. Quickly ahead, 0-2 on Brokemond. And he swings and misses for strike three. As Zach Maxey did in the top, Dane Armbrustmaker gets through the first batter in three pitches to record the strikeout. And one out in the base is empty in the bottom of the first. Cooper Weiss coming up to the dish. A 
Check swing, pitch falls in for strike one on the breaking ball. Weiss hitting 306, was 0 for 4 though yesterday and 1 for his last nine after a strong start to that Bowling Green series in the first couple of games. Swing and a miss up high from Weiss as that ball was atop the zone. One, two, and Weiss caught it off the top of the bat. Exclusively out of the stretch, and the one, two off speed swung on and missed. Weiss goes fishing down low and comes up empty. Two straight strikeouts for each pitcher to start the first inning. Now David Novak coming up to the plate with two outs and the base is empty. First pitch off the end of the bat foul. Novak with the average just a hair under 300 was 0 for 2 yesterday. This one lifted right side, tailing away from the field. That will get out of play. No balls, two strikes to the Miami catcher. Novak lays off. Dane Armors maker, a one strikeout per inning type of guy this season. 33 strikeouts in just over 30 innings pitched. 1-2, chopper to short coming a long way in. Allen Fields throws over to first and the stretch made by Sullivan who puts the squeeze on it for out number three. Miami goes down in order and we stay 0-0 through one inning to the second we go. Western Michigan and Miami locked up here on Love and Honor Live. Top of the second inning here from the key field. No score between Western Michigan and Miami. Red Hawks went one, two, three in the bottom of the first. Zach Maxey, who worked rather quickly through the first couple of batters in the Western Michigan order, gave up a single and a double afterward, but was able to escape the first inning with two in scoring position stranded. Josh Swinehart coming to the plate. For Western Michigan, he leads off the inning. The first pitch in on the hands for ball one. Swinehart's second best hitter by average on the season at 274. A two-way is both pitch and hit this season. 
It was one for four yesterday. Last pitched against Iowa in the weekend series last week. Waving a miss at the 1-1 offering. One, two, up at eye level. Western Michigan has played a pretty tough schedule in non-conference play. So they prep for their max season. This one ripped left side. That's going to land foul. Included a season opening series on the road in Baton Rouge against number one LSU. Broncos were swept in that series. Also took on a ranked opponent in Iowa last weekend and have had midweeks each of the last two weeks against Michigan State. 2-2 two, two up and away, three balls, two strikes. So Western Michigan coming into this weekend had lost two of their last three conference games as they lost a series against Eastern Michigan. This one popped up left side of the infield. Zaborowski coming over on it. Doesn't have to make a whole ton of movement, but does lean back into fair territory as he puts it away for out number one. Much to the delight, I'm sure, of these infielders. The wind is a lot less aggressive than it was yesterday. Flag in center field, lazily blowing around on occasion, but nothing like the gusts of 20, 30, even 40 miles an hour that we saw in southwest Ohio yesterday. Jimmy Allen at the plate, called strike one. To even the count on the breaking ball, Allen the shortstop. 270 hitter. Fouls this one off right side. One of many other Broncos has made his 24th start of the season. 24 games played for Western Michigan. Bronco team that has kept a pretty similar lineup this season. 1-2, this one lays left side, and that's going to drop down the line and get all the way to the wall. Around first, heading into second. Allen will get there standing up, and a one-out double puts another man into scoring position for the Broncos. So Jimmy Allen who's been on a very strong stretch this week after going three for five against Michigan State, also had a hit yesterday. He is aboard after his first at bat, and that brings up the eight hitter, Greg Budig. Check swing as he fouls the first pitch off. Oh, one to Budig. And he crushes this one out to deep left field. Magliaca going back. That ball is gone. Greg Budig, the catcher, with a no doubter off the bat. His second home run of the season. And the Broncos strike first, 2 0 in the top of the second. Four hundred and twenty-one feet off the bat of Greg Budig. A moonshot out to left center. And Western Michigan picks up where they left off from yesterday. Grady Me, the nine hitter at the plate, takes strike one on the outside half. And he lifts this one out to right field, going back. That ball lands just foul of the line, right at the base of the wall. And for the Red Hawks, catching a break, that ball just barely to the right of the line. Would have maybe been a three-bagger for me. One out in the top of the second inning, and the 0-2. Golfed in the air left side, and that's out of play.
So Maxi has now given up four hits on the last six batters he's seen. But he gets the strikeout as Migos chasing. That flips the lineup back to the top of the order. Jackson Kitchen, the first victim of back-to-back -back strikeouts to begin the game from Zach Maxey. Now coming to the plate with his team on top, 2-0. One zero, chopped to third. Zaborowski right to it, throws low to first, but no problem for Parker Lester, who holds on for out number three. Greg Budig with a two-run shot to left center, and Western Michigan draws first blood in game one of the doubleheader. Two nothing Broncos. We head to the bottom of the second on Love and Honor Live. Back here for the bottom of the second inning, 2-0 Western Michigan. As the 0-1 comes into Ryland Zaborowski, and he takes it off the top of the bat foul. Two-run shot from Greg Budig out to left center field. And the Broncos have their first lead of the game. O2 drops low to Zaborowski. One, two, he checks swings, appeal to first, no swing. Jabarowski used to continued on pretty ridiculous home run pace with 10 in his first 22 starts. Two, two, drops in there for called strike three. Third strikeout for Dane Armbrusmacher. Parker Lester up to the plate. Five hitter for the Red Hawks this afternoon. Best hitter for average on the team was two for four yesterday with a double. Lester swings and misses at the breaking ball outside. Armbrusmaker's curveballs worked well for him so far. Hanging around in the low 80s. 0-1, looked like he went to it again. That time he missed. Lester doesn't bite. One ball, one strike. One one is lifted up and out of play. Any one mile an hour fastball that time from Armorsmaker. And the one two swung on and missed. That ball maybe just a bit off the corner. Lester looking to maybe fight it off, but can't get a piece of it. Fourth strikeout already for Dane Armorsmaker, who has been perfect 
through five batters. First pitch to Zach McDonald off the plate. McDonald ahead 2 0, 0 for 3 in the game yesterday. Struggled lately. Has not had a hit since game one of the Bowling Green series. Well ahead of the count, though, now at 3 0. McDonald playing his local team, sophomore from Portage, Michigan, right next to Kalamazoo. Three zero, and he sends that one out of play. Three one pitch dives low and in, and that's the first base runner for the Red Hawks with two outs in the bottom of the second. Zach McDonald works a five pitch walk. Dom Magliaca gets the start for the Red Hawks today in left. Just his fourth start of the season, and he comes up with a runner on first. Migliak has appeared off the bench four times in addition to his three starts, hitting 231 this year. First pitch on the top part of the zone called strike one at 90 miles an hour. One offering upstairs. Two RBIs on the season. Two extra base hits out of three hits total for Magliaca this year. 1-1 one, one high bouncer to the pitcher's mound. Armors Maker fields it. A sweeping underhand flip to first, and it's in time for out number three. Two out base runner for the Red Hawks, but they can't do anything with it, and it is just... Seven batters that have come to the plate through three, two innings rather for the Red Hawks. Two nothing Western Michigan as we head to the third. You're watching Miami Baseball on Love and Honor Live. Top of the third inning, 2 nothing. Western Michigan leads over Miami. Two, three, four hitters coming up in the Bronco lineup. Will Morrison 0 for 1, takes strike one. Morrison struck out looking as part of back-to-back -back strikeouts from Zach Maxey in the first. And this one's skied right side and beyond the reaches of the field of play that lands on the concourse. Morrison down 0 and 2. Maxie's 0-2 pitch, and this one lifted up, shallow right center field, floating back on it, Dylan Baker at second, and he reaches over to make the catch for out number one. Three straight retired by Zach Maxie. 
Gavin Doyle, the first base, or third baseman rather, coming up. He hit a single his first time up. Righty on righty from Maxi. Oh one called strike two on the outside corner. Doyle takes ball one. Singled and then on a double, the left field was moved up to third but could not score as the ball came in too quickly. Back in the first, lays off on the one two. So nothing came across in that first as Western Michigan stranded two in scoring position but in the last inning, a double from Jimmy Allen and a home run from Greg Budig put him up Two nothing. Three balls and two strikes. Find the infield playing back towards the grass. And the pitch is low. Or rather, did they call the last one a foul? It looks like they did. He got it off handle of the bat. So now that is ball three. And a 3-2 taken up high for ball four. So Doyle on board for the second time. Cade Sullivan coming up. He hit the double in the first inning down the left field line. One of four hits for the Broncos thus far. Modest lead on first base from Doyle. Sullivan taking strike one. Second double of the week for him. Went one for four against Michigan State. Had a two bagger in the midweek. Also hit a home run yesterday. One of three hits for him. The other two singles scored two runs himself. 1-1, one, one, hit on the ground over to short, fielded and thrown over by Weiss. The move on to first, and it's 2-6-4-3, double play to retire the side in the top of the third. Zach Maxey faces the minimum in the top of inning number three. Still 2-0 Western Michigan as we head to the bottom. Christian Zahada leading off the bottom of the third inning for Miami. 8 9 1 hitters coming up for the Red Hawks, who've had one base runner so far. First pitch on the top part of the zone from Dane Armbrusmaker, who's been very solid for Western Michigan. No hits, four strikeouts through two innings. Zahada getting the start at DH. And he sends that one out of play on the right side. Tejada, the sixth year senior. Cuts and misses at the 0-2. And it's strikeout number five. Each of the first three innings have begun with a strikeout now for Dane Armbrusmaker. 
Dylan Baker rounding out the Miami order in the ninth spot. Red Hawks still looking for their first hit, trailing 2 0. Lifted into the screen. Baker, 222 hitter. Start number 19 this afternoon. Got a piece of the 0 1. Armbrus Maker exclusively from the stretch. Feels the 1 2, or the 0 2 rather, outside to make it 1 2. Last time Armbrus Maker pitched was against Iowa, went just one inning. Breaking ball outside, 2-2. Two two. His last full start came against Eastern Michigan back on March the 18th through six innings. He gave up seven earned. 2-2 two two falls in there for called strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to begin each of the first three innings for Dane Armbrusmaker, who's now got six Ks. That flips the lineup back to the top of the order. Benji Brokman coming to the plate. Brokman taking up high for ball one. Struck out swinging to begin the game at the plate for the Red Hawks. And cuts and misses at the 1-0 offering. Brokman had a hit in every game last weekend. He was one for three yesterday. Went 0 for two in the midweek game against Oakland on the road. One, two, swing and a miss. Drop third, the throw down to first in time. Dane Arbersmaker strikes out the side in the bottom of the third to inning number four. It has been all pitching for the Broncos who had a two-run shot to take a 2-0 lead. You're watching Miami Baseball on Love and Honor Live. Top of the fourth inning from McKee Field, 2-0 Western Michigan. Highlight has been on the mound for the Broncos as Dane Armbrusmaker has faced 10 Miami batters and struck out seven of them, giving up just one base runner. Dylan Nevar fouls the 0-1 offering back to quickly fall behind 0-2. Grounded out with two in scoring position to second base to retire the side in the top of the first. 0-2 fought off. Bottom of the order delivered for the Broncos. Jimmy Allen in the seven hole with a double. Greg Budig hitting eighth with a home run. That stands to make it 2-0.
The one, two. Wave and a miss. Ivar goes reaching down low. That's the fourth strikeout for Zach Maxey. Has worked pretty quick and kept the pitch count relatively low given the amount of base runners he's had. He fires in strike one to Josh Swinehart. He popped out to third to begin the second inning for Western. And he grounds this one for third base side. That's past to diving Zaborowski all the way to the wall in left field for another extra base hit. Swinehart into second standing up. A one out double as we saw in inning number two from the Broncos. Fifth hit of the game for Western. And all but one have gone for extra bases. Jimmy Allen, who hit a double in the second inning, coming up to the plate. And he hits this one through the gap in the middle of the infield for a base hit. Swinehart getting waved around third. He will score. Throw is cut off. So Allen sticks it first, but an RBI single extends the Broncos' lead. In the top of the fourth, it's 3-0 Western. So Allen has had himself a nice day so far, and Greg Budig coming to the plate already with a home run on the resume. First pitch to Budig. That slides in there for strike one, 76 miles an hour from Zach Maxey. Budiak, a 200 hitter, picked up his second home run of the season. Just up high, one and one. Half of his hits this year have gone for extra bases, four doubles and two home runs. Six out of 12. One spiked low. Two balls and a strike, Zach Maxey Face the minimum in the last inning after walking Gavin Doyle. Drew a 6-4-3 double play to end the top of the third. That's a nice breaking ball that dives under the swinging bat of Greg Budig. Two and two with one away, runner on first. Enough of a piece there from Budig to stay alive. Red Hawks without a hit through three. Western Michigan with six of their own. They've already got one run in the top of the fourth looking for more. Two-two to Budig. This one hit hard on the ground and through the left side of the infield for a base hit. Good piece of two-strike hitting from Greg Budig. Stays alive and pokes that one through the gap in the infield. Puts runners on first and second. Grady Me up at the plate. Struck out swinging in his only at bat so far. Takes strike one in the inside half. Now the year one offering, and that one sent towards the Bronco dugout. Nothing in two. 40-degree day in Oxford. Clouds spotting 
the sky. Wind has kicked up a little bit, but still nothing major. Blowing slightly out towards left center field. 0-2 bounces in. Novak springs out of his stance to make that stop. One ball and two strikes to the Bronco nine hitter. Pitch on the way from Maxi, swing and a miss. Runners are going to take second and third. But Me goes down on strikes for the second time. Two outs now in the top of the fourth inning. Back to the top of the order for Western. Jackson Kitchen is 0 for 2. 9 1 2 hitters are combined 0 for 6 for the Broncos. But everyone else, with the exception of Dylan Nevar in the middle of the order, has reached base. Popped up first base side. Lester calls off Maxie in foul territory, and he makes the catch. That's out number three. Western Michigan tacks on another run off the RBI single from Jimmy Allen, and it's 3-0 Broncos. We head to the bottom of the fourth. You're watching Love It On Her Live. Bottom of the fourth inning from McKee Field, 3-0 Western Michigan. Broncos add another run in the top. Two, three, four hitters in the Miami lineup coming to the plate. Face off against Dane Armersmacher, who's been perfect so far. With the exception of one walk, bunt up the third base line goes foul. So just one base runner for the Red Hawks. That was Zach McDonald. Cooper Weiss struck out swinging his first time up. Armorsmaker has gone through the first three innings, striking out the first two batters in each one. Struck out the side in the third. A one flared out of play on the right side. No balls and two strikes. Cooper Weiss sees it in. That one drops low, one and two. One, two pitch. Weiss thought about chasing. Instead, the count evens up. Two two foul back. Dane Armbrusmaker's best outing so far this season came against Ball State. Pitched six and a third, gave up one earned run, walked four, struck out five. The two two dives away to make it full. Rather struck out six, gave up five hits in that game. 
but has not seen anything like this this season. This has been phenomenal. Weiss has battled back to 3-2, but he takes strike three on the inside corner. And the tread continues. David Novak coming up to the plate. And Dane Armorsmaker continuing to mow through this Miami order. Big swing on the first pitch from Novak. Red Hawks have failed to get a ball into the outfield. The only two non-strikeouts other than the walk where nothing was put in play were two ground outs, one to short and one right up the middle to the pitcher. One, one, swing and a miss. This one hit off the end of the bat, second base side, Me comes over on it and throws to first for out number two. So Novak has put the ball in play twice to the middle infield, but just like the rest of this Miami team has not come up with a hit. Ryland Zaborowski up to the plate. Got rung up in the second inning. Zaborowski takes strike one on the inside corner. Grady Mee at second base playing just a couple steps right of the second base bag and back near the outfield grass. Rest of the infield is pretty normal for the Broncos. Oh, one caught some rubber bouncing on home. And the 1-1 hit him. So Zaborowski wears that one. And will run it off as he heads to first. Just the second base runner for the Red Hawks comes in the bottom of the fourth. Two out hit by pitch. Zaborowski looks to be in a little bit of pain on the first base side. Trying to stretch out the legs after that ball plunked him. No hit so far for the Red Hawks. Dane Armbrusmaker has given up two free bags to the Red Hawks. Came in with over one strikeout per inning and about half a walk per inning. First pitch breaking ball to Parker. Lester never comes down, ball one. Lester struck out swinging in the second. Yeah, that can bring this Miami offense some juice. 1-0 misses up high. Infield shading a little more towards the pull side on the right for Lester. But now some control issues in this at bat for Armbrusmaker, who's down 3-0. Rio red light, and the pitch misses up high for ball four. So just like that, the Red Hawks went from nothing offensively to maybe threatening a little bit with a two-out rally, still needing a hit. But do have runners on first and second. Zach McDonald coming up to the plate, and we will see an infield meeting for the Broncos. McDonald was the only Red Hawk batter to reach base first time through the order. Drew a two-out walk in the second. Dane Armbrusmaker, who went through three and two-thirds very efficiently, has now given up back-to-back -back base runners on a hit-by-pitch against Ryland Zaborowski and a walk issued to Parker Lester. So 
So the meeting on the man will break up. And in comes Zach McDonald. First pitch low and in. Budig prances to it. Walk to Lester was a four pitch walk. So now five straight balls thrown and make it six. That one trickles away, sliding across the turf. Budig gets to it though pretty quickly, scampering towards the Miami dugout. But that's now seven straight pitches that have missed the zone. Count the hit by pitch to Zabarowski. The 2-0, and this one ripped down the left field line, and that's down and all the way to the wall. Into the corner, Lester on his horse. He gets the stop sign at third, but a run comes in to score. An RBI double from Zach McDonald chips into this Western Michigan lead as Miami makes it 3-1 to one in the bottom of the fourth. First hit of the game for the Red Hawks being out hit seven to one. But now just one swing of the bat potentially from Dom Magliaca could tie this ball game. Anything in the outfield, outfield playing very deep on Magliaca. Infield backed up as well. Magliaca takes the first pitch low and in and nearly hit him. Agliaka hit a high bouncer right back up the middle. That was fielded by Armbrus Maker on the mound. He was thrown out. one sent sky high left side. Three players converging, having to go a long way, coming over and making the catch in left field kitchen. And that retires the side in the bottom of the fourth. Teams trade runs. Each side gets one in inning number four. We head to the fifth. 3-1 Broncos on Love and Honor Live. Three one, each team getting a run in the fourth inning. Western Michigan on top of Miami as we head to inning number five. New arm on the mound for the Red Hawks. The right-hander Hudson Leach takes over for Zach Maxey. Who throws 69 pitches in the start. Went four innings, gave up three earned runs off seven hits, one walk, five strikeouts for Maxey. So Hudson Leach, the transfer from Creighton, will take over. Right-hander with a 3.80 ERA on the season. Highest of, or best rather, of any pitcher on this Red Hawk staff. He'll face the 2-3-4 in the Bronco order. Yeah, Will Morrison, who's 0 for 2, takes ball one low. Morrison. 
This one hit off the end of the bat. Coming over on it from short. Weiss throws across his body onto first. And Lester reaching out towards the outfield. Pulls that one in for out number one. So a tougher play than it looked on both ends with the throw and the catch. But Red Hawks get it done. Gavin Doyle, who's reached base in both of his previous plate appearances coming up. Walked his last time up in the third. A one check swing. And the appeal to first says that Doyle went around. No balls, two strikes. Pitch on the way, and this one lifted into the screen. Forty strikeouts in twenty-three and two-thirds innings for Leach on the year. But can't blow the O2 past Doyle. Now the 0-2, and that's in there, called strike three. Bending into that inside corner. First strikeout for Hudson Leach. Two outs in the top of the fifth. Cade Sullivan stands in. He's one for two, a double and a ground out to short that turned into a double play. One zero is sent sharply into the Miami bullpen. Sullivan looks to gather himself. One one swing and a miss as Sullivan comes up empty. Two strike count to Hudson. Leach. Sullivan in the box, and the one-two in, misses down low. Leach's last appearance came against Bowling Green, pitched an inning and a third. Gave up two earned runs, struggled with the walks. Gave up four free passes with one strikeout. But the two-two swung on and missed. He's already got two strikeouts in just one inning of work. Officially halfway through this one to the bottom of the fifth we go. Red Hawks looking to get back into this game. Down 3-1 on Love and Honor Live. Three to one, bottom of the fifth. Western Michigan leading Miami. Christian Tejada leading off an inning for the second time. His lone at bat so far ended in a swinging strikeout. Dane Armbrusmaker back out onto the mound. First pitch softly hit out of play. Armbrusmaker with 64 pitches through four innings. One hit, two walks, eight strikeouts.
One one is skied out of play on the right side. Tejada down one and two. And the one two just off the outside corner for Armbrus Maker. Count evens up to Tejada. Red Hawks getting their run in the last inning on a two out rally. Hit by pitch, a walk and a double. 2-2, two, two, just sent foul. It's a hot of defending. Two balls, two strikes, pitch on the way and Tejada takes a shoulder height for ball three. Tejada waiting in the righty box. And caught that off the end of the bat. Tejada still alive at 3-2, another payoff. And this one lined right side, one hops over to Sullivan who reaches over to snare it. And he taps on first for the three unassisted. That's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Dylan Baker up at the plate for Miami. Struck out looking his first time up. Sends the first pitch he sees foul up the third base side. And on the hands, that one's lifted over the screen and out of play as Baker falls behind 0-2. Top of the order on deck for Miami. First three batters in the Red Hawk order all 0 for 2, as are the last three. One ball, two strikes to Dylan Baker. Chopper over to short. Allen has to wait on it. Throws a high rainbow to first, but it beats out Baker for the out. Red Hawks putting more balls in play than they did early on, but not finding spots through the infield. Back to the top of the order. Benji Brokemont has struck out swinging twice. Brokemon chopping the first pitch up the middle. Tough play for me at second base. And he lost that one out of the glove. Brokemon hustling the first. That should be an infield single. And that extends the inning. It's the top of the order is on base for the first time for the Red Hawks. Cooper Weiss coming up. He's also struck out twice. Weiss serving is the tying run. First pitch bounced in. Budig pump fakes the back pick. Weiss takes low on the 1-0. Couple guys up and moving in the bullpen for Western, but mostly just doing plyo work. No real throwing from the mound yet. Kane Armbrus Maker has been a pretty strict six inning guy this season.
Oakmont on his mind as he goes to first twice. Duo waved in, missed. And our risk maker trying to battle back in this count. After giving up the infield single to extend the inning. Runner goes. 2-1, swing and a miss. Throw down to second. It's a good one, but it one hops past Dylan Mee, who collided pretty hard there with Benji Brokman, who lost his batting helmet, but he's in there into scoring position. Looked like the ball reached the glove. Uh, that was actually Allen who was fielding it. And at the same time, Allen's glove hit the helmet of Brokemon. That knocked the ball loose and knocked the helmet off Brokemon. 2-2. Two -two. Sharp ground ball through the legs of Brokemon. His helmet falls into his lap, but the throw to first is on time. And Allen goes to first to end the inning. Redhawks get a man in scoring position, but cannot score a run. Still 3-1. We head to the sixth on Love It Under Lot. Three one into the sixth inning here from McKee Field. Dylan Nevar leads off for the Broncos. He's 0 for two on the day. First pitch from Hudson Leach missing inside for ball one. Leach pitched a clean inning with two strikeouts in his first in relief last inning of Zach Maxey. One zero outside. Two balls, no strikes. Nevar last let off an inning in the fourth. Struck out swinging. Western Michigan would bring across a run in that inning. As three guys behind him would all reach base. Double and two singles, and that ball actually hit him. So Nevar is aboard for the first time. Hudson Leach allows his first base runner after going one, two, three in the last inning. That brings up Josh Swinart. First pitch, a called strike to Swinart. Two-step leadoff first. The 0-1 nearly found the zone. It had a little more room to get to the plate. It might have. Swinart, one of many Two-way guys listed on the roster. Chases up high at the 1-1. Hit 279 last year. Appearing in 53 games. Sends this one over to third. Fielded cleanly by Zabarowski. 5-4-3, and it's a double play to wipe the base pads clean.
So just like that, two outs in the top of the sixth. Bases empty as Jimmy Allen stands in. He has had a fantastic day so far, two for two. The double on a run scored, as well as a single that he made it to third on. First pitch outside for ball one. 1-0 one -oh is fleed foul on the right side. Coming up empty on the 1-1. One -one. Leach looking to face the minimum for the second straight inning. One, two. In there, strike three. Third strikeout for Hudson Leach, second looking. And he gets out of the sixth inning and has seen just six batters through two. To the bottom of the six we go. 3-1 Broncos on Love and Honor Live. Three one Western Michigan leads over Miami. Bottom of the sixth inning. David Novak leading off for the Red Hawks. 0 for two on the day with two groundouts to the middle infield. First pitch in on the hands fouled off. Dane Armbrusmaker returning to the mound for the Broncos. Or rather, no, it is indeed Armbrusmaker back out. Pitch dives low for ball one. Armors maker through five. One earned run off two hits, two walks, eight strikeouts. This one sent aloft into right field, but that slices away from the field of play. Last inning was Armors maker's first without a strikeout. Struck out the first two batters he saw in each of the first three innings. Struck out the leadoff man in the fourth. Popped up right side. Sullivan over to it at first. And reaches above the head for the catch. Ryland Zaborowski at the plate for Miami. Struck out looking his first time up. But did score the one Miami run in the fourth as he was hit by a pitch and came around. A couple misses on the zone to start off the at bat from Armbrus Maker. Two zero is dribbled foul. <laughs> two and one to Zaborowski. Red Hawks have two hits. Only one was to the outfield. It was the RBI double by Zach McDonald. Two one off the plate. Three balls and a strike. Zaborowski looking for a second free pass. And that missed, ball four. Second walk issued in addition to the hit by pitch by Armbrus Maker. 
Parker Lester up to the plate for Miami. He was the other walk. So runner on first with one out. Again, the infield shifted towards the pull side for Lester. Squares the button, pulls it back. Budig fakes the back pick to first. one -oh misses up high. This is generally the time when Armbrist Maker begins to wind down in inning number six. Has gone six and a third this year, but it's a lot of stuff around six innings on the starts for him. 2-0 falls in there. Approaching that 100 pitch mark right now at 92. Three and one. Lester awaits one of two lefty swingers in the Miami lineup. Takes strike two. Three, two, bounces in for ball four. And Lester on board for the second straight at bat. Zach McDonald came into a similar situation with runners on first and second in the fourth. That time, though, there were two outs instead of one. He sent a double straight down the line and left. Has reached base both times up. Also walked in the second. Takes low for ball one. Another free pass here would likely end the day for Armors Maker, you would imagine. Western Michigan has a righty out in their bullpen. 1-0 finds the inside corner. One one pitch sent back behind home. One ball, two strikes. So interested to see if and when that right-handed arm comes in and with Miami's offensive struggles in this game, if the Red Hawks Try to bring anyone off the bench. McDonald lays off the one, two. Ninety eight pitches now for Armbrus Maker. One sent sky high, but foul, and out of play onto the concourse. Two-two, oh, yeah. and again protecting, McDonald sends it out of play. From the third base side of the rubber, 2-2 two -two pitch. Wave and a miss. McDonald goes chasing. He's retired for the first time this game. And Dane Armors Maker not done yet. Dom Magliaca at the plate. 0 for 2 with a fly out to left. And a ground out up the middle to the pitcher. First pitch swinging, fouled off. Oh, one falls in there for strike two. 
Armbrus maker one pitch away from getting out of inning number six. Runners bluff, and the 0-2 just a hair off the plate. One ball, two strikes to Magliaca. And the breaking ball above the head, no chance to swing. Magliaca's got the count even. Sends this one for a ride, a towering fly ball right side of the infield, backing up Sullivan adjusts and hauls that one in, taking a couple steps toward the middle for out number three. Red Hawks strand two aboard and have left guys on base for the third straight inning. They still trail three to one. We head to the seventh. You're watching Love and Honor Live. Moving along to the top of the seventh inning. 3-1 Western Michigan over Miami. 8-9-1 hitters in the Bronco order coming up. Greg Budig swings through the first offering. Hudson Leach back on the mound for Miami. Going to eat up some innings late after coming in for the fifth. This is now his third inning of work and quickly ahead 0-2 on Budig. Booting two for two today with a home run and a single. Cut and miss for strike three. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Hudson Leach, who now has four through two and a third. And it took just three pitches. Grady Mee with two strikeouts standing into the lefty box now. Facing another... Right-handed pitcher, Rylan Zaborowski coming in on the third base grass. This bunt pushed up towards the pitcher's mound and on one pitch. A quick play made over to first by Leach. He records the second out. So back to the top of the order. Four pitches so far through two batters. And Jackson Kitchen went all the way out to the plate before his coach called time. He'll get some instruction. There is now, looks like another lefty, kind of a three-quarter arm slot working out in the Western Michigan pen. Miami's bullpen empty. Two outs in the top of the seventh. The Max Series wrap up this weekend. Eastern Michigan leading Ohio in game one of that doubleheader today, Akron on top of Ball State, 5-3 to three in the top of the fourth. Toledo leading Kent State, 1-0 in the bottom of the first. First pitch in there for a strike. Bowling Green and Central Michigan will meet later today. The Toledo-Kent State and Ball State-Akron games are each doubleheaders. The 0-1 inside. In addition to non-conference play, Northern Illinois taking on Xavier, looking to avoid... The series sweep at Hayden Field. They're up 1-0 in the bottom of the second. 1-1, golfed at. 
Hudson Leach trying to get through this inning in a hurry. Kitchen looking to avoid falling to 0 for 4 on the day. Just got a piece. That one played in foul territory behind the plate by Novak. One ball and two strikes to Jackson Kitchen atop the Western Michigan order. One, two, gets away, slips out of the hand. Count even at 2-2. Two, two. Leach out of the stretch. Another offering outside that Kitchen won't bite on. And he works the count full. First lengthy at bat of the inning. After Leach came in with just four pitches. And the 3 2 up high for ball four. So Kitchen comes back in the count to work the walk. One walk and a hit by pitch issued so far by Hudson Leach out of the bullpen. He's gone two and two thirds innings. Will Morrison has not reached base in three tries. Last time up, grounded out to short. Runner on first, two gone. Runner goes. Pitch is in there for strike one. The throw is wide left and into center field. A turnaround second base by Kitchen, but he will retreat. He swipes the bag and moves into scoring position. And the count moves to 0-1. One pitch rides up high, one ball, one strike. One, one, and it hit him. Morrison wears it on the numbers. Second hit batter from Leach. And they're on first and second with two outs, and that's gonna bring David Novak out from his post behind the plate in addition is going to draw a visit from the Red Hawk pitching coach. So a 3-1 game led by Western Michigan. Two outs in the top of the seventh. Hudson Leach was cruising. Had faced the minimum through two and two-thirds. After giving up a hit by pitch in the sixth, right away got the double play ball. And was able to retire the first eight hitters in one way or another. With Nevar reaching base but being put down on the double play ball since he's issued two free bags on a walk and a hit by pitch. Gavin Doyle, the batter for Western Michigan. He's one for two, has reached base twice. First pitch slides away from the zone for ball one. Certainly feels like a breaking point in the game. And the 1 0 on the inside corner called strike one. 84 miles an hour that time from Leach. Who, for the time being, is going to have to stick you out there for the Red Hawks with still nobody up in the pen. One pitcher out there working with some bands, but nobody throwing. 1-1 one, one missing in. Leach has thrown 38 pitches. Has been a guy out of the bullpen that can eat up some innings for the Red Hawks. 2-1, can't find the inside corner. Leach at risk of walking the bases loaded after he was so strong. Through almost three. 3-1, and falls in there for strike two.
Three, two, two outs, runners on the move and the pitch is in for ball four. Second walk of the inning. Still no hits given up by Hudson Leach, but he's walked him loaded with two outs in the top of the seventh. The batter, Cade Sullivan, one for three on the day. Gets a called strike one. Good frame job behind the plate by Novak. Sullivan hit a double his first time up down the left field line. Since then, 0 for 2. 0 1, sent sky high, right field. Brokemon racing in, backing up Baker from second. And Baker, the one to make the catch for out number three. Hudson Leach stays scoreless through three innings and escapes as it stays a 3 1 game. Time to stretch here in Oxford. Red Hawks need some runs. We'll be back in just a moment on Love and Honor Live. New pitcher on the mound in the bottom of the seventh inning. Joe Shapiro takes over for Dane Armbrusmaker, who was stellar through six innings. Shapiro coming in in a 3-1 game led by Western Michigan, bottom of the seventh. He will face off against Christian Tejada to start off. Shapiro, another lefty, redshirt sophomore out of Glenview, Illinois. First pitch called strike on Tejada, who is 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a ground out to first base. Dane Armbrusmaker finishes the day having thrown 109 pitches. This one lofted out of play. Two hits, one run that was earned, four walks, nine strikeouts for Armbrusmaker. Ties his lowest run total given up all season and eclipses a season high in strikeouts by one. 0-2 oh, falls in there on the back door, called strike three on Tejada. He's down on strikes for the second time and Shapiro records the 10th K for the Broncos staff, one out in the bottom of the seventh. Dylan Baker up to the plate for Miami, 0-2 oh, at the bottom of the order. That one sharply grounded towards the Miami dugout foul. Left side of the infield is pinched with Allen at short backed up towards the outfield grass. Meanwhile, the other side, a complete opposite, very wide gap on the right side of the infield. 0-1 to Baker, and he sends this one up in the air right field. Waiting on it is Nevar, and he makes the catch for out number two. That's just the third ball this game the Red Hawks have put in the outfield. Two of them have been flyouts to the corner infield. 
one of them the double to Zach McDonald. Red Hawks with just two hits so far. And the guy who had the other one is Benji Brokman, who's at the plate. An infield single his last time up. Brokman takes outside for ball one. 1-0, squares to bunt, puts it down, fielded cleanly by Shapiro, who flips to first for the out. Red Hawks go down in order in the bottom of the seventh, still 3-1 Western Michigan, back for the eighth on Love and Honor Live next. Three one in the top of the eighth. Western Michigan leading Miami. Miami softball team also in action against the Broncos. That game on the road. Red Hawks preseason favorites in the MAC struggled a little bit to start conference play, but won a couple of games after dropping the series opener against Toledo. And following a Carly Spade home run hit. Just about five seconds ago, Red Hawks leading six to nothing over the Broncos in Kalamazoo. Dylan Nevar grounds this one over on the right side of the infield where there were three Red Hawks waiting on it. And Cooper Weiss will make the play for out number one. So one out in the top of the eighth. Josh Swinehart standing in for the Broncos. First pitch off speed from Leach who pulled the string. Swinehart out in front for strike one. He's one for three on the day. Grounded out into a double play his last time up in the sixth. Chops it to short. Weiss waits on it. A seed to first in time for the second out. Cooper Weiss has been busy in the field. A couple of putouts to start off this inning. Jimmy Allen now up to the plate, two for three. Got strike three called on him last time he was up to the plate. First pitch off the corner for Leach. Red Hawks have had a couple of guys getting up and around in the bullpen, but there's nobody throwing. Leach at 45 pitches. Two O sent to the netting. Allen was driven in and it was the first run of the game on the home run from Greg Budig. 2-1 flies up high.
Three balls and a strike. Wave and a miss at that one from Allen. 92 on the inside corner. And the count full with two outs. Bases empty in the top of the eighth. No runs in this game since the fourth. And the 3-2 is outside for ball four. So that extends the inning. Jimmy Allen on base for the third time. First time not coming off a hit. Greg booting up as Allen did. Started the day two for two, but struck out in his last at bat. And the first pitch hits him on the shoulder. Leach did this last inning with two outs. As he struck out the first batter and got a ground out, but couldn't retire the side in quick fashion. So he then walked a batter, hit a batter, and then walked another before getting out of the inning scoreless by getting a pop out for the third out. He has put runners on first and second for Grady Mee, who is 0 for 3. And he finds the zone on the first pitch. Mee swings through it for strike one. Set from the middle of the rubber. Called strike two, 88 miles an hour on the outside corner. Leach looking to get it done. Ahead on Grady Mee, who's already got two strikeouts. Curling breaking ball that was fought away. That pitch had a very sharp break to it right before it got to the plate. Count still 0-2 to me, and this one down and in. Me put one in play for the first time, his last time up in the last inning. It was a ground out to the pitcher as he laid a bunt down. One, two, does not find the outside corner, just missed it. Two balls, two strikes. The 2-2. Two, two. Pass ball low and the count full. So for the second straight inning, after retiring the first two batters, a pressure situation has opened up for Hudson Leach. He's got full count, two outs. With runners on first and second. Leach deals. Swing and a miss. And Leach is out of another inning scoreless. Now his fourth without a run conceded. Still 3-1 Western Michigan. Miami's got six outs left. They need at least two. Bottom of the eighth, 3-1 Western Michigan. New arm on the mound for the Broncos. DJ Thompson taking over. Third pitcher to don the mound for Western. Joe Shapiro throws just six pitches through an inning of relief. One strikeout. A 
fly out and a ground out drawn as well. And it will be DJ Thompson's mound here in the bottom of the eighth. Red Hawks really need some offense. They have not had a hit since the fifth and have not had a run since the fourth. At their only run of the game, just two hits so far for the Red Hawks. Two, three, four hitters in the Miami lineup due up. Cooper Weiss is 0 for 3. And he takes strike one. Ball slides over the middle part of the plate. A one offering, swing and a miss. Weiss comes up empty. He's got two strikeouts on the day. Western Michigan as a staff has 10. O2 dives low. One and two into the windup. Two balls and two strikes. Neither team has scored a run since the fourth. Weiss battles back to run the count full. Western Michigan with a two-run home run from Greg Budig that stands as the winning hit. 3-2, swing and a miss. Weiss goes down on strikes for the third time, and five outs remain for Miami. David Novak at the plate. Lays off the first offering. Slides away from the zone. Two ground outs and a pop out for Novak on the day. This one bounced up the middle, coming a long way over from second. It glances off the glove of me, and it's into left field for a base hit. So the Red Hawks with just their second ball that has found the outfield grass. Third hit of the day, David Novak aboard. And that brings up the deep fly threat. Ryland Zaborowski has reached base in each of his last two plate appearances on a hit by pitch and a walk. 0 for 1 with a strikeout. Waving a miss on the first pitch into Zaborowski. No balls, one strike. Zabarowski stood straight up in the lefty box, or the righty box rather, on the left side of the plate, takes the 0-1 down. One ball, one strike. First right-handed pitcher the Red Hawks are seeing after back-to-back -back lefties thrown out there by the Broncos. Very short lead on first from Novak. 1-1 one, one trickles away, booting to it quickly, 2-1. Two and one. Zaborowski with 10 home runs on the season to lead the Red Hawks. Has appeared in 22 games starting in the outfield. At third base today, he grounds this one on the left side foul. Two balls, two strikes to Zaborowski. Parker Lester behind him. He has also reached on free passes in his last two at-bats. The 2-2. Two -two. Wave and a miss. Strike three, second strikeout for DJ Thompson. And two gone in the bottom of the eighth. Parker Lester up to the plate, runner on first. Red Hawks running out of time. This 
Swing and a miss on the first pitch to Lester. That pitch dives just underneath the zone. Novak on first after the single. Three hits on the day for the Red Hawks. Lester 0 for 1 with a strikeout. And that's just underneath the zone. He takes ball one. Nodding the head, the 1-1. Breaker outside. Lester ahead in the hitter's count. Two balls and one strike to the sophomore first baseman. Lester squares to bunt, pulls it back. That finds the outside corner. We're called strike two. So a tough one for Lester to take. He's down to his final strike of the inning. The 2-2. Wave and a miss. Another breaking ball low. Three strikeouts with a single wedged in between. Western Michigan now with 13. And they head to the ninth with a two-run lead. 3-1 Broncos back for the final inning on Love and Honor Live. Three one our score into the ninth inning from McKee Field. Hudson Leach still on the mound for Miami. On for his fifth inning of work in relief. Jackson Kitchen is at the plate for Western Michigan at the top of the Bronco order. Bunt is pulled back for ball one. No offering flies outside. Two O lifted up in the air, left side and out of play. Two and one to Kitchen, who is hitless on the day. O for three, but did walk his last time up, made it to third. 2-1 up at shoulder height for ball three. In the last two innings, Hudson Leach has recorded two outs before giving up some free runners. Has not given up a run yet. 3-1 misses for ball four. Kitchen on with a walk. Will Morrison up. To the plate, hit by a pitch in the seventh by Leach. Has faced him twice the first time he grounded out to short. Runner goes, bunt is squared and it's pulled back. Throw down to second is a bouncer. And Kitchen is in there in time. So that eliminates the double play ball. 
as Morrison takes strike one. <laughs> Nothing in one. The, again, the bunt squared, but the pitch is going to get away. Yanked outside. That makes the count one and one, and no need to bunt now for Will Morrison with the runner just 90 feet away. One and one. Morrison, the center fielder, waiting in. Red Hawks infield comes in. And that pitch sliding toward the inside corner didn't arrive there. Missing inside, two and one. Now the two one offering. That misses in for ball three. Three balls, one strike to Will Morrison. Leach set on the bump. The pitch, this one ripped over to short past the diving glove of Cooper Weiss and into left field for an RBI base hit. Morrison with his first hit. And the first hit for the front three guys in the order for Western Michigan since the first inning. That brings home a run and makes it a three-run game, 4-1 Broncos in the ninth. Miami defense back to their normal spots. Lefty out working in the bullpen. Gavin Doyle at the plate. He's had a nice day, one for two, reaching also on two walks. First pitch in there for strike one. Boyle, the senior in the right-handed box. This is his third time facing Hudson Leach. Struck out and walked. That pitch low. Tracked down in the dirt by Novak rather quickly. One one offering, runner goes. Pitch is in there for strike two, throws a good one and the tag is applied in time. So Morrison thrown out on the base pads. And two strikes now on Gavin Doyle. Leach takes a breath, the one, two. Softly hit foul. Bounces into the Miami dugout. One ball, two strikes. Doyle readies up in the box. The pitch at the letters for ball two. The 2-2 offering, and that's up at Bill Height, ball three. Leach has struggled to put away hitters at times during this outing, but does so there on the 3-2. Got the foul tip into the glove, and there's two outs in the top of the ninth. Cade Sullivan, who's one for four now, stands in. A double in the first. Since then, a ground out into a double play, a strikeout, and a pop out. Base is empty, two outs. Towered in the air behind home plate. No chance for any sort of play on that ball. O one, 
off the outside half of the plate. One ball, one strike. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch, and that dives low and in. Two balls, one strike. From Leach pitching in to the cleanup hitter for the Broncos, Cade Sullivan. And the 2-2 popped up. Left side of the infield, Zaborowski with a slow reaction to it. Now everyone frantically coming in, and that ball's going to drop in foul territory. Four Red Hawk players came in on that. Everybody on the left side of the infield, Weiss, Zaborowski, Maxi, or not Maxi, Leach rather, and Novak. But a second chance at life after that ball finds the grass. Kate Sullivan back standing in with a 2-2 count. Lee Charity with six strikeouts, looking for a seventh. That won't do it for him. The 3 2. And this one is shot out into left field. Watching it fly. Sullivan has himself a solo home run. Second one sent over the wall in left field by the Broncos today. This time off the bat of Kate Sullivan. The cleanup hitter with a no doubter for his team leading eighth of the year. 5-1 Broncos. Dylan Nevar up at the plate. And now the bases have been empty. Red Hawks bring three infielders to the right side. And the first pitch up and away for ball one. We'll have game two of this doubleheader. About 30 minutes after the conclusion of this one as we wrap up the series. David Novak calls time and now Danny Hayden, who was talking to the umpire, is out of the dugout for Miami. And are we gonna maybe see a new pitcher here? We are. So Hudson Leach is cut short and is not able to finish the ninth inning. Red Hawks will bring a new man in, and that coming when we come back. Two outs in the ninth, 5-1 Western Michigan on Love and Honor Live. Carson Byers, new pitcher on the mound for Miami as Hudson Leach removed in the middle of an at-bat two outs in the top of the ninth. 5-1 Western Michigan, Leach's day ends with four and two-thirds innings pitched. Two hits, two runs both earned. Those both came here in the ninth. Four walks, six strikeouts. Carson Byers taking over for Miami, looking to get the final out. A 1-0 count right now on Dylan Nevar, who will come in to face off against a lefty. Byers, a guy who started some midweek games for the Red Hawks this season. Has also come in in relief five times. 19 innings pitched this year, 11.37 ERA. 
22 walks, 28 strikeouts in 19 innings pitched. 1-0 count with two outs to Nevar as Byers continues to ready. Byers the only two-way on the roster. And getting the chance to pitch against his hometown team, native of Kalamazoo. Byers will pitch to Dylan Nevar. And his first offering misses up and in for ball two. So he comes in mid at bat. Working from the windup, the 2-0. In there for a strike, Red Hawk. Infield staying shifted towards the pull side. Three guys on the right for Miami. Two one. Yeah, that's in there for strike two. Two two. Nevar gets a piece. He's 0 for three on the day. Was hit by a pitch to lead off the sixth. Two balls, two strikes. Wave and a miss from Leach. So he records the out and we head to the bottom of the ninth. 5-1, a comfortable lead for Western Michigan. Miami gonna need some big bats in the bottom of the ninth. We'll see if they can get it when we come back on Love and Honor Live. Brian Zapp pinch hitting for Miami in the bottom of the ninth and a new pitcher on the mound, Hayden Berg, making his second appearance of the series for the Broncos as he looks to close this one out. No longer a save opportunity as Western Michigan plated two runs in the top of the ninth. First pitch to the left-handed swinger, Zapp is fouled off. So Zapp pinch hits for Zach McDonald who finishes the day one for two with a double, a walk, and a strikeout. If you could look to anyone in this Miami order who had a decent day overall at the plate, it probably would be McDonald on an otherwise anemic day for the Red Hawks. Zach fouls it off. One ball, two strikes. So Brian Zapp into the ninth. Berg, the righty, winds and fires, and that one falls low, 92 miles an hour to make it 2-2. 2-2 offering, and Zap gets a piece and sends it up and into the screen. Two balls and two strikes, the pitch. 
Swing and a miss, strike three. Third straight strikeout for Western Michigan going back to the last inning. And the Red Hawks down to their final two outs. Another pinch hitter coming to the plate, Nate Stone in for Dom Agliaca. So the Red Hawks emptying the bench here in the ninth. Dom Agliaca finishes game one 0 for three. Infield move towards the pole side for the left-handed hitter, Nate Stone. The first pitch is up high on him for ball one. Two infielders on the right playing in the outfield. Grass, Allen the shortstop, just a couple steps to the left of the second base bag and Doyle at third way off the line. Stone ahead 2-0. And takes a called strike one on the bottom outside corner. Red Hawks are going to have another pinch hitter coming up next. As the 2 1 is ripped out to right field, going back just short of the warning track. Nebar is there to make the catch. A loud out number two. Hardest hit ball from a Red Hawk probably all day. And as mentioned, another pinch hitter and Tommy Harrison coming up for the Red Hawks. So Red Hawks down to their final out. Harrison takes ball one on the outside. One zero pitch, and this one is shot right side, but foul. One ball, one strike to Harrison, the freshman. That finds the outside corner. One ball and two strikes. In there, strike three, swing and a miss. And that's the game. Western Michigan takes the series as Hayden Berg slams the door on the Red Hawks in the ninth. Five to one, your final in game number one here from McKee Field. Dane Armbrusmaker, the winning pitcher in this one who went six innings and gave up just one earned run for the Broncos. The losing pitcher for Miami is Zach Maxey in a game that took two hours and 17 minutes. Western Michigan comes out victorious. 5-1, your final. We'll be back for game number two as we wrap up this series here from McKee Field shortly. We hope you will tune in then. And so until then, the Quest Poli saying so long from Oxford. 5-1, your final. Western Michigan wins it over Miami.